one of the, I think, critical issues that we discovered about uh, 10 years ago, um, there, there's a time frame when lawyers get into trouble. Um, typically, a new lawyer will engage in minor misconduct issues. Remember the rules of professional conduct are the basement. They're not aspirational. So if you're violating the rules of professional conduct, you're really kind of in the basement. Um, what we try and, uh, our goal is to bring them up to at least the first floor and hopefully the second floor so that they have a good understanding of what is expected of them. New lawyers engage in pretty much the same kind of minor misconduct. Uh, they forget uh, confidentiality issues, they forget how to deal with their clients, um, they forget that uh, opposing counsel is also a lawyer and deserves the respect that they would expect uh, uh, to receive themselves. I remember um, one of the first clients I ever had was a soon-to-be single mother in a divorce who was working off the books and we were filling out the financial disclosure form and she said to me, why do I have to disclose this? I don't want to disclose this um, and I don't want you to disclose this. So what I say to my students is almost immediately you have to decide what you're going to do because either you're going to comply with the rules or you're going to comply with your client wishes and your client has no um, obligation under the rules but you do. It's very interesting what I hear from law students. You know, you know, for instance, I offer them anytime they want to call me, anytime they want, um, you know, after they graduate, or when they're in an internship or they're working in a clinic or something and they have an ethics issue, I give them my cell number. Um, I don't go more than two or three days without a call from a student. And so what that means to me is there are an enormous number of issues that are not covered in law school. In fact, probably most issues related to professionalism are not covered in law school. So by offering them um, access to someone they can talk through a problem with, I think to them um, is an enormous advantage. And what that means to me is that if, if just in my one circumstance I'm doing it, I get all of these calls, I can't imagine all the law students or all of the newly admitted lawyers out there who want to make a call and don't have someone to call. We have to make that available to them.